Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome to the second tutorial, or rather the first major part of the um, RackNet in Leadworks tutorial series that I'm doing. In this uh, lesson we're going to learn how to um, make a server and set it up. We're not going to do a client, that'll be the next one. And we're not going to actually see any interaction, but it's the essentials of starting a server, setting it up. Now, I could have just shown you this bread and butter, but I've decided to show you it in the classes I've made because it'll just be so much easier to use. And in fact, you have to use classes in the end anyway to uh, get your player objects working properly with the network. So it's best just to do it straight from the start. Now, I'm not going to um, type out everything. It'll take too long. I tried that before and it took like half an hour just to type out the server. And explain it as I go. So I'm going to include the uh, um, the files on on Leadworks um, under the asset store, free of course. And if you're, you can go there and and grab it. Of course, only if you're a Leadworks member, which uh, I don't know why you'd be looking at this tutorial if you're not. So um, get those. There's uh, three files. You need server.h, server.cpp and custom network enums.h and I'm just going to start by including them. Um, as you can see what I've done here is I've pretty much got the same thing as last time, same setup. The only thing I've added is some lead work stuff. So I've initialized the engine, made a graphics window, made the framework, set the lure object, made a camera, made a test floor with the body, made a directional light and in my main loop I've just got drawing text in the middle of the screen saying, I'm a server, yay. Okay, so, um, let's include those files. Existing item, I've already put them in the folder. Um, so it shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> By the way, if you, if you don't know how to do classes, then I really would question why you're trying to do networking. Um, okay, server.h add new item sorry just had a brain fart uh, custom network enums.h and server.cpp alright so um, I'm first going to explain now I'm going to go through these and explain what they do so let's go to server.h uh, this is just our definition of our class, of the class. You can ignore these, they're just, um, oh bugger, they're just for Doxygen. So in our server.h, um, our class file, we need to include the engine because we're going to have uh, Leadworks type definitions. Um, not now, but later we will, say for example, TVEC3 and all that stuff, all that good stuff. And of course, RackNet includes, we'll need to include that there. Um, on a second note, we can actually take RackNet includes out of the main the main file because it'll be under our um, under our server.h. So what we want to include our server.h, of course. And that's all fun and dandy. And uh, yeah, I've just defined this max plays as ten just for now. You could have different amounts of max plays, so if you have different game types, but for now I'm just doing that. Alrighty, so we have a number of functions and variables, and um, you'll notice these ones are the RackNet type definitions. So for example, we've got RackNet socket descriptors, which basically describe what sockets you're gonna use. Uh, you have the network ID manager. Um, this is That's for um, defining the manager that manages all the objects like your player for example um, player network ID um, type definition type ID for message IDs um, so basically when you get a packet you can figure out what type of packet it is and react accordingly then of course you got a packet and a bunch of functions and I won't go through them here I'll go through them as I um, as I go through the CPP file also we've got a, a rack net peer interface that's the main thing you need that's the bread and butter and it's a pointer called 
and I've called it server. So that's the class definition, the basics. I've deleted all the other stuff I had from my one because we'll get into that, the more complex stuff a bit later. So let's go to server.cpp and let's start going through this. So of course we've got to just include the um, server.h and also this other one I've called custom network enums. Um, you probably won't need it now, but you'll need it later. Basically, these are um, all message types. When you get a packet, it's got a message type ID at the beginning of it. And there's a bunch of default RackNet ones. This header file, custom network enums, defines the user specific commands that you want to send over the network. So, for example, you can see here I've got ID spawn player. So, if you get a message with ID spawn player, you want the the network interface to initiate spawning a player and of course they're just defined as id user packet enum plus one so it's just it's just really just an integer so let's go back we'll get into this a bit more later back to dot cpp and let's go through this here we have our constructor uh we're not going to do anything special in the constructor the only thing that you input is the maximum amount of players and we just define some variables that you'll see I defined in the um, in the class description. So number of sockets we only need one. We only have not one IP. Um, sometimes you can have more, but for now we're just going to have one. And max players equals whatever they put in. And the server port is six thousand and one. You generally want to stick to higher numbers that aren't reserved already. All right, so let's get on to the next command, which will be our first command, is create the server interface. That's the first thing we need to do. Um, this might seem look like jargon to you at first, but don't worry, it'll make sense. So um, we made a pointer called server, and that pointer was, of you can see it here in the class definition, it's a rack peer interface. This, uh, po the pointer server points to rack peer interface, and we are going to define that. So we go server equals rack peer interface gets get instance. You can just read it off what I've put on loadworks.com. Um, but I'll just explain here. So the next thing we need to do is we set the incoming password. Um, you can see here I've set it to yo yo. And then, of course, you also have to um, define the length of the string for this command. And basically that what that does is if any client tries to connect to the server, if they do not have the same password, they cannot connect. This is to stop, say, two games created uh, trying to network with each other, even though they're totally not related, it would be a lot of trouble. All right, and the server network timeout time, 30,000 um, seconds, or no, my microseconds or whatever milliseconds and that basically just um, it times out a client if they're away for 30 seconds uh, this racknet um, colon colon unassigned system address basically means anything connected to the server that isn't itself so basically that means everyone um, and then we just have a message making sure that the server got created properly don't worry about this pre-processing stuff. Just ignore it. In fact, I'm going to delete it. You can just copy it and put it in there if you want. Um, but screw that. Uh, okay, so the first that's the first thing we need to do. So let's go into our network, our main folder, and then that let's actually make these things. So first we want to make, let's just define our, um, our server class up the top here. And before the loop, we're going to, we're going to make it so we go server equals new server and we'll have eight players. That's that. And okay, so now that we've done that, we want to create the network interface. This is always the first point. Uh, shoot, come on. Have I included it somewhere? Hold on, I'll be back. All right, okay, I just uh, found out I made a silly mistake. 
That's why that wasn't working. Um, that's supposed to be over here, of course. Silly me. Alright, so we want to create the uh, rack peer interface. So server, oh wait, sorry, create network interface. So create server interface. And that's void. Alright, so that's that done. The next step is, I okay, guess, so we've created the server interface. And that includes getting the instance, setting the password, setting the timeout time. It's 30 seconds. Next thing we want to do is we want to start up the server. And there's a few things involved here. Um, the first thing is we have to create a, um, we have to define the port. All right. So, hold on. All right, sorry about that, I'm back. Okay, so we have to define the port. Uh, you can see the socket descriptor. If you go back to our class, you can see that socket descriptor is a type def for racknet colon colon socket descriptor. So, yeah. Um, so, so, we're defining the port. So the port equals, I've just, uh, I've saved my port in a string. As you can see up in the, when we constructed the class, I've saved it at 6001. Obviously, it's got to be an integer, so A to I, server string. The reason why I didn't just make an integer to start with is because you might want the player to insert the port, you might want to detect the port, something like that. And that's why you get a string and convert it to an integer. So that's that. Then you want to set up what type of um, socket it is. So socket descriptor, well, you, you set